Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to build a Sim Lab project, and we're going to call it Jumper. Of course, I always put your initials after it so we can tell whose is whose. We are going to search for a special shape called the bent pipe. When it pops up, I highly recommend you hit the star so it's a favorite. When it comes in, we are going to stand it up. So I'm going to look at it from a corner and I want to stand it up this way. Notice the 22 and a half degrees. It takes four of them. We could also do shift rotate and it's only two clicks to get the 90 degrees. Let's do D to drop so that it is up on the work plane and then we're going to simply adjust the parameters no stretching just adjust the parameters so the first thing we're going to do is add a lead out and i'm going to tell you to make this 100 so it'll be really really long and hopefully you can see that that is going to be how it jumps i'm going to do Control d and i'm going to pull one of these off to the sides this is with a shift nudge we're going to save it for a moment and we're going to go back to this one do control D and let me show you how we cut this out. We're going to make it a hole. We're going to increase the outer pipe width by two. So I'm going to type 22 and I'm going to make the wall thickness 14. So I'm sure that it connects. All right, everybody, let me show you how we're going to line this up. Select them both. Do L for a line. We want it middle and front. Click on the hole and we want to pull it towards us 10 clicks. Now we can cheat if we hold down shift and do the arrow right there that is 10 millimeters forward now we want to click on it and do control shift and the up arrow notice that moves it up 10. if we look at this from the top you can see that's going to cut pretty good now we can select those two and do control g bingo we have just made our first ramp notice it's a little skinny back this way let's double click it and let's just do control down one two clicks click out here to see if that looks better I do like that we're gonna call it good now friends we're gonna take the second one and this time we are gonna mod the parameters to make it a bit easier to see our adjustments we're only gonna change one I'm gonna tell you the number is the bend angle and I want you to type 120 notice this is a much crazier shape I'll show you how it works in a few minutes first though we're gonna do that same step where we do control D make the second one a hole change it to 22 press enter and put in our 14 let's do that same type of trick for lining them up select them both choose L for a line we need to make sure that they're at the exact same front and center because of how I've got the screen turned once again it's a shift nudge but this is left and let's do control shift up and as we look at this it's cutting in decent but I want it to cut a little deeper so I'm just gonna do control down let go and do the arrow key back now if we look over here you can see this is cutting way too far in so I'm just gonna let go and let's move one two three four five now I've got that gap I need back at the back F for fit view so we can see this a little better this is okay but I'm gonna try and go control down and one more so now that's got a nice ridge here a lot of that spot and let's check that top one more time bingo I think that's gonna be great select the two and do control G after a minute it groups you can see our sphere is gonna shoot through there just fine if you need to double click and adjusters remember it's just control down and forward or back one click at a time as you click and adjust to get it looking exactly the way you want at this point let's set up our experiment we're gonna click on the shape and I simply want you to rotate 45 degrees notice that's two clicks in the middle of the circle same thing here 45 degrees there's one there's two and that's it hit D to drop so it's down at the base hit D to drop so it's down at the base I'm gonna grab them and move them back so there's room for these to launch and now we're gonna add our spheres simply close this bring out a sphere and use cruising to set it up near the top we're going to shift squeeze 
and we're gonna make that size five. So if you shrink it to any number and type five, it'll be exactly right, and it'll be sitting on that work plane. If we do F for fit view, you can see that turned out really nifty. While you've got the green living work plane, you can adjust it just a tiny bit. Of course, I'm also gonna pick a fun color and click out here to cancel that piece. I'm also gonna change my ramp. I'll make that one blue. Now let's hit the home button and add that other sphere as well. Once again, when you drag it out because of cruising, you can set it up right near the top. Then hold down shift, grab any handle, stretch it bigger or smaller, then type five in the box so the spheres are the same size. Once again, F to fit view, I'll align that a little bit better. Pick a fun color, I'm gonna go with pink and keep the purple. Once again, let's hit home take a look at our whole project and friends it's time to test it in the sim lab when it first loads you'll see those parts become real that is the geometry being fixed we need to take both of these so notice I've grabbed both ramps two shapes and I'm going to change them to static I could have also clicked Control M now let's zoom out so we've got a better view and friends it's time to hit play and test our cool little project. Now you can see they both fell off the back. That is not what was supposed to happen. So I'm going to hit pause. And this is what's exciting. I can reset this and I can adjust the positions in SimLab. Quickly, I'm going to hit F for fit view. Once again, C for cruising. Grab the dot and make sure it's sitting up on the face. I'm gonna click on the other one, F for fit view, zoom back just a little bit, press C for cruising, grab the dot, and make sure it's sitting up on the shape. Let's adjust our view and we're ready for another test. Let's hit play and see which one falls further. Check it out, that's pretty awesome. We can pause and you can notice that this one does a pretty nice job but the second one doesn't even make it out of the launcher. Of course, we can hit reset and let's test our materials. So I'm gonna switch this instead of plastic to say rubber and I'm gonna change our ramp to ice. So we're just changing different things. I'll still leave this one plastic. I'm still gonna leave this one plastic. And now let's see what we get. Once again, hit play. Whoa, both balls actually worked, friends. Friends, this is so cool to be able to adjust and test on the fly. Now, which one lands further? By a hair, it looks like the bouncy rubber beat the other one. Notice because we have these lined up pretty much with the center, it's really sweet to test that way. Friends, it gets a tiny bit cooler. Check this out. You can also change your angles on the fly. Real quickly, I do want you to see it still stayed static even though I rotated it. Check this out though. This one is not on the ground anymore. We can select these two items and if we hit D, they actually drop so it's back the way it should be. Really quickly, that ball is not where I want so once again, I'm going to hit the letter C for cruising. Grab that awesome handle and drop it right on the purple ramp. Once again, you can click somewhere else to lock it in. Zoom out. Let's hit home. And once again, friends, find an angle you want to watch it from, and let's hit play. <laughs> Check it out. Both made it, but obviously it was much more efficient to have this angle for jumping. It is also interesting to use the different materials to see just how they all react. Friends, this is where it gets absolutely amazing, though. Check it out. I'm going to simply grab this. I'm going to make a custom rotation. You can figure out the numbers you want. I'm going to just do 22. I'm going to click somewhere else and hit D to drop so it's back up on the right location. I'm going to click on the ball, press the letter C to cruise, grab that dot and put it right back up on my purple ramp. And all of a sudden, you are ready to do test number two. Now I do have another cool idea. Watch this. We're going to go back to our building area. We are quickly going to bring out the green roof. I always like to look at it from a corner. Let's do F to fit view. Find that rotation and do four clicks. 
that's 90 degrees or you can do shift rotate and it only takes two clicks D to drop and I'm gonna squeeze it down so it's tiny and I'm gonna make it longer so it looks like an arrow let's rotate it 90 degrees move it off to the side and friends we have now got a marker we can use to record our launches once again back to SimLab this time though when we hit play we have got our cool launch and they land at different locations so we can back up and are you ready for this when we see where they land we can mark the record so it landed close to that line so I'm just gonna hit reset and we've got that launch recorded I'm gonna make one more fun modification what happens if I turn this into steel let's hit play Ooh, that one's gonna be tough to figure out let's back up so this one is still in the air I'm following its shadow so I think because that shadow clicked here this one was there and now I can go back and hit reset and adjust my marker so it fits my new record do also want to show you that if you make something awesome you can create images or a video of it there are four different styles large screen square screen for Instagram and for your phone you can do low quality or high quality I'm gonna do a large screen I am gonna do the low quality I'm gonna get the angle just the way I want I want to see this ball actually hit the doggone little marker that I made once again we back it up and if we hit create video it'll turn our animation into an awesome little video mine set to save I'm gonna put it in my downloads once again I want to watch this one last time boom right on the arrow of course friends when you're done you need to back up I'm gonna move back to the main screen and friends I want to share this design with the world step one for me is to click settings I love to make the background a different color I'm gonna go tan I also love to shut off the grid bingo there is my jumper project and then we return to the Tinkercad workspace click on our design and we choose properties I've changed my name to SimLab jumper tutorial of course that tutorial will be coming soon below that you'll find other ways you can reach me of course add tags I do want to remind you if you ever add the tag HLMT 23 I check that tag almost every day and of course I will give you a reaction finally make your design public and then I always choose attribution no derivatives because I want you to come up here follow the tutorial and gain some epic skills finally friends hit save changes and at that point if you visit the gallery you will initially see all the amazing staff picks don't forget if you ever see one of my designs there is almost always a tutorial reactions are appreciated and if you look down below you'll likely find another fantastic project being shared what I love to do though friends is shut off those staff picks switch to the larger grid and take a peek at all of the amazing designs that are being created if you see one that you think is awesome make sure you click on it and give it a reaction check this one out we have got a Grinch snowman that is absolutely awesome and check out this sweet car love what this users doing friends don't forget if you're patient and you click view in 3d you can actually see the design from every angle that is absolutely epic and I'm giving them a wow of course friends check it out here's the design that was just created don't forget those reactions are always appreciated and you'll see a tutorial in just a moment one final bonus friends if you ever click on the username you'll be taken to all of the designs created by that user likely sorted by recent you can also switch to reactions and then also even click this button so you can see more designs at once remember whenever you're checking out my designs it will likely have a tutorial and of course those reactions are always appreciated Appreciated. friends I do have one more note I'd like to mention my channel hlmodtech.com it is so awesome to be past 42,000 subs friends every time you sub and share with a friend it just absolutely makes my day friends as I wrap up I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website hlmodtech.com as you can tell I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons down below you can find the day one favorites the useful starters and the Tinkercad essentials 
Friends, below that you'll find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. I do also need to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.